hate the dark. Despise the dark. The body and soul of a dark one is stained with filth. For that reason alone, we must live. If those such as we no longer exist, how else can this world know of their need for us? One of the recurring themes of the Wolfman has always been that while other classic horror monsters are normally born or created into their roles, the Wolfman often begins life as a normal person and is then cursed by an element outside of his control. What he chooses to do with his newly gained power of lycanthropy becomes the focus of the character, whether it's pursuing a cure or using it to carve out a new path in life. This was a similar approach the development team took for the werewolf and Darkstalkers, whose name in Japan would be Garon, which translates to Hungry Wolf. Outside Japan, his name was changed to John Talbain, which is a play on the name Sir John Talbot, the father of Larry Talbot, played by the actor Lon Chaney Jr. in the classic horror film The Wolfman. Tributes to the movie didn't stop there, as John Talbain is said to be born in 1940, the same year The Wolfman had gone into production. Many different designs were submitted for John Talbain that featured an armored or hybrid appearance, but the team settled on a design that emphasized a leaner and more agile form like that of a wolf. John Talbain had a fighting style that was heavily influenced by popular forms of martial arts, as seen in a number of his attacks, taunts, and poses, where he could be seen wielding a pair of nunchucks. John Talbain starts his story living a peaceful life as a human, but unbeknownst to him, his family's origins connect him to the demon world Makai. One of the noble houses of this demon world, collectively known as the Makai Seven, was the Kreutz family. Baraba Kreutz was the leader of this family's noble guardsmen and given the title Wolflord. He played an active role in a number of their battles and became a longtime rival to the vampire noble Dmitry Maximov. About 20 years ago, Baraba wandered into the human world where he fell in love with a human woman who cared for him while he was injured. After returning to Makai, Baraba suddenly disappeared about 10 years later and hasn't been heard from since. Rumor has it he returned to the human world to reunite with this woman again, but no one knows for sure. Their secret affair would give birth to John Talbain, though his past would never be told to him as his mother died shortly after giving birth to him and he never had contact with his father. John Talbain was alone for as long as he could remember and only viewed his parents in a conceptual sense. He first became aware of his origins when one night, under the light of a full moon, something awakens from within, transforming him into a werewolf. This causes him to be shunned from human society, though John never begrudges his parents for this curse, since they were never a part of his life. Still, he was determined to not let his newfound primal instincts consume him, so he devoted himself to fighting and pushing past his limits, believing that if he retained his inner humanity, he might also regain his physical humanity. He eventually meets an old gypsy in the forest, who tells him that if he were to reach his physical peak, the curse would be broken. It's not long after that John Talbain hears of Dmitry Maximov's plans to start a fighting tournament in order to find the best of the Darkstalkers in the world. So, John enters the tournament in the hope of becoming human again, which is where the first game in the series starts. After defeating the final boss Pyron, John's curse is lifted and he regains his human form. However, most of the human society continues to reject him, and he discovers that he can only find acceptance among the children. Many years later, John Talbain continues to sustain his human form, though he can sense his inner beast lying dormant within him. One day, upon hearing a voice in the back of his mind, he transforms into a werewolf once again. It is then that John Talbain realizes it is impossible for him to be rid of his curse forever. By the third game in the series, Vampire Savior, John Talbain becomes aware of an evil version of himself referred to as Dark Talbain. During his battles in the Majigan, a dimension created by the demon lord Jetta, he comes face to face with his malevolent doppelganger. Upon defeating Dark Talbain, John is finally able to come to terms with his curse, but in order to maintain control, he must continue pushing himself forward and past his limits, regardless of any unforeseen consequences. What happens next to John is left ambiguous, as players are then shown two orphans under his care named Fred and Marco, awaiting his return. While their relation to John Talbain speaks to his compassion toward children, it is unknown whether this scene occurs before or after he returns from the Majigan. To 
Despite John Talbain having ties to other characters like Dimitri and Bibi Hood, the main Darkstalker he is often seen interacting with in a number of adaptations is the Catwoman Felicia, as they share opposing views when it comes to the humans' relationship to the Darkstalkers. John Talbain generally despises the humans, particularly the adults who shunned him or tried to hunt him down like an animal, <laughs> while Felicia believes they can all live together in peace someday. Though these two are often paired together, John Talbain is nowhere near as popular as her or the other female Darkstalkers. While he may not be a prominent figure in other video games by Capcom, John Talbain stands out as the kind of inspired character that could only have come about from a series like Darkstalkers, and represents what a series like this is capable of bringing forth in fighting games. Even to someone who is unfamiliar with the series in general, it shouldn't take much to get a grasp of what makes John Talbain such a compelling character. In short, he is basically a werewolf who can transform at will and knows all kinds of martial arts. What else really needs to be said? Toroize.